Hey everyone, this is Father Sean here for the Daily Reflection and you know, it's late again. I apologize for getting this late. And you know, the last time things got a little too late, it turned into some goofy thing about a pineapple. So we're not going there. I had a cantaloupe over in the house, but um, but yeah, that's not going to happen today. Anywho, um, just something real quick that came through my head, um, just kind of something I didn't realize with this whole pandemic. We were having the uh, the rooftop adoration last Friday night at uh, at IC. And, you know, we're up there and, and it's, you know, it, it's still kind of isolating for us. You know, you're kind of uh, tons of, you know, yards away. But during the, the quiet prayer time, I heard a baby cry. And I thought, I haven't heard that sound of a baby crying in six or eight weeks or whatever. Oh, my gosh. It was, I didn't realize it until I heard one for the first time. I thought, oh, my gosh. That's something I miss about being at Mass, is seeing uh, the parents having their children, and even who knows, once we're back at Mass, whenever that is, I mean, you know, I imagine people won't be bringing their their, uh, their at-risk, you know, infants there, so, which makes sense, but I don't know, it's just part of that, the life that you realize that you, you, never, you never really um, thought about it until you hear it a child, and you're like, oh my gosh, I've been celebrating Mass in these empty churches without without any kids there, kind of, um, and you know, sometimes they're distracting, but most of the time it's, it's, it's just beautiful. And, you know, we often say, Father Jared and I, and uh, if the church isn't crying, then it's dying. Um, and, and it's true. So um, I guess just want to say to everybody out there who has kids, I, I can't wait to see them again. I, I saw a little like a uh, two-year-old just playing today and he's just like digging around in the sand and it was just like oh my gosh I haven't watched a child I've seen all these faces on zoom and everything for all of these uh for all these weeks so it was a little uh I don't know it was a little good reminder to kind of get out of that own bubble and I look forward to the day when we'll hear the babies crying at mass again and we'll hear see the little kids running around with their you know, their snot noses and everything else, um, just getting into things and kind of whatever. I don't know. So I guess the moral of this story is give your children a hug for Father Jared and I. Give them a kiss on the cheek. Uh, remind them that we miss them. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.